Hey everybody, I think we're live and I need to find out if I'm coming up sideways. That's the problem. Yep, I am coming up sideways again. I do not know what is going on with Facebook Live, but this is like the third week in a row that I have my phone like this and then it tells me right before I go live that I need to rotate my phone and I'm holding it like this. That's all you're supposed to do. So. Now I'm upside down. That's great. Hang tight. <laughs> I'm just going to flip my phone. Oh, there we go. We're going to have to be tall tonight. That's what's going to have to happen. I don't know what is going on with Facebook that I'm... I know other demonstrators are experiencing problems with it too. So, not really sure what is happening. I'm not doing anything different than I usually do, but anyways... I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Now, whether you're watching this live on Facebook or whether you're catching it on the replay on YouTube, I want to thank you for spending a little bit of time on your Sunday night with me. I've got some great cards in store for you. I see Robin and Lori are coming in. I missed a few of you. I did see your names. Megan, welcome. I'm going to tilt my phone a little bit because it's kind of at a weird angle. So, hi Mary, welcome. Um, I have some, oh thank you, I didn't do anything different except wash it. <laughs> she just said, I love your hair. Um, I was up north all weekend again and it is hunting season in Wisconsin and that's what I do. And my family, we are hunters. A family that hunts together stays together. Um, and actually my daughter Haley and my mother and I were in northern Wisconsin bear hunting for the weekend. My husband took my summer home, which is my camper for those of you that are new. Um, he took that up north to park it at my mom's house, which is where we spend the fall bow hunting. And he went bow hunting and he saw 27 deer, a grouse, and a skunk. <laughs> and our bear hunting, um, I know last week you guys asked if we got any bears and I missed that question. I've had a few problems with anti-hunters being on my um, YouTube channel. So um, I've decided that that's too bad. I'm a hunter and that's what we do. And if you um, are not and you don't like it then there's other channels for you to watch that's that's what I'm going with but last weekend we did we got two bears on Saturday this last this weekend we got a bear on Saturday also so we had a, a very good time we had a huge feed where we had um, wild turkey venison and bear and then I'll post some pictures um, after I get done with the live this humongous frying pan over an open pit fire for the potatoes was pretty funny and this ginormous um, spatula to turn the potatoes it was just really really fun we had a great time this weekend I rolled in about 4 30 tonight um, my husband is home. He's in really bad shape. He's got some knee problems going on and he's um, experienced some some really bad pain in his knee. So hoping to get him in to see someone tomorrow. I'm, you know, I feel really bad for him because it's hunting season and this is what we do. So um, he needs to get better quick. Um, he just bought a new bow last week, so that was kind of exciting for him, and he was excited to spend the weekend in a tree, but he, he only got to spend one evening in a tree, so, uh, yeah. Hi, Suzette. Welcome. Um, it's weird looking at my phone like this because I'm not used to being up and down. For those of you that are tuning in late, we've been experiencing problems with Facebook Live for the last few weeks. Um, my phone is going to be tall tonight because when I put it like this, it tell, it puts me sideways and we don't know what's going on. I didn't do anything different than I usually do, but whatever. Um, it is what it is. We're just going to roll with it. Yeah, he didn't catch the skunk. No. <laughs> yeah, he's got ice on it right now, Jenny, and he's um, got it elevated. He's got a baker cyst on the back of his knee, and then there's problems with the front of it, too. So it's just pretty much deteriorated from 30 years as a steam fitter and, you know, hard cement floors and, yeah, climbing up and down ladders. It's crazy. 
Okay, I'm glad you found me. Hi, Kim. Welcome. Thanks, you guys. That's so sweet. Thanks, Joanne. I know he will, um, he'll appreciate that because sometimes he watches the beginning of my show so he can add some little smart alecky remarks in there. I don't know if he will be feeling up to it tonight, but yeah. Okay, I would like to share with you, I thought that I received another card this week to share with you, but I must be confusing that with next week because I can't find it. And just hang tight, you guys. I'm going to pull you up on my screen so that I can see all the comments because I didn't do that yet on my laptop. So let me um, grab on to my Facebook Live here. Oh, there I am. And I will mute me so you don't have to hear me twice because once is certainly enough. <laughs> Thank you so much, Faye, for sharing the video. For those of you that are coming on, if you could share my video, I would really appreciate that. Sharing is caring, after all. That really helps me out. Um, if you'd like to give me a thumbs up, I always love a thumbs up, too. That's also very helpful. I'm going to get out my little notes here. I always try to write up a few notes so I don't forget what I'd like to tell you about. I've got some exciting stuff happening this week. Um... Oh, I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb, so that's just great. I'm looking at my notes at the top. Do Not Disturb on phone. Yay. So, great. I'm going to touch my screen here. There we go. Um, oh, thanks, you guys. Thanks for the thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Yeah, Kay, I know, because he's quite the smart aleck, isn't he? Kay just said, we will miss his comments. He's pretty funny. Rhonda, you can't share. You should be able to share. You just click the share button. I'm not quite sure what would be happening there. And Lori, Lori says, we have black bears in Wisconsin. I don't know. She's replying to Megan. But yes, we do. We have a lot, a lot of black bears in Wisconsin. It's crazy how many black bears we have. And, you know, just like any place else, there needs to be, um, I want to say herd control, but I'm not sure that's the right word because otherwise you're going to have bears starving. You're going to have them being hit by cars, and bears are big enough that if a car hits them, it can kill people that are driving the car. So, um, <laughs> Steve's going to call you, he says. Hey, Penny, thank you so much for sharing. Hi, Carol. Um, so, if, if by chance somebody calls me, and you better not call me, Steve, because you know that will send me right through the roof. If anybody calls me, it's going to pause our Facebook Live, so I'll try to make sure that doesn't do that. If I can hit the screen fast enough and say um, that I don't want to take the call, we should be okay. But usually I put my, my phone on Do Not Disturb so that we don't care if people are trying to call me. And um, Sue says her family also hunts. Daughter, dot, son-in-law, and grands, ages 24, 22, and 9, also actively compete in bow. And then it says see more. Yeah. Um, it's it's a great it's a great thing to do as a family. We love it. And again, if you are <laughs> if you're an animal rights activist, this probably isn't the channel for you, and that's okay. You're entitled to that, but I'm also entitled to mine, right? Um, like I said, little fight on on YouTube last week, which was quite ridiculous. And again, my channel. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I have. First of all, I have a new online class coming out. Um, it's using the first Frost bundle that's in the Holiday Mini Catalog. And oh my gosh, it is just so delicious. You're going to love it. I'm going to be working on getting that finalized this coming week. But you're going to see that come out on Friday as my feature video. So I have to design another card besides the eight cards plus a bonus card. So you get nine cards in my online class. And um, I have to get another card designed so I can make a video for Friday. So that's exciting. Also, Monday on my blog, and you guys know my blog is www.astampabove.com. Um, Monday, I have a blog hop with the color fusers. And we are using four fall colors to design or make cards with. And there's a whole bunch of us that do this with the same color scheme and I love seeing what everybody else has come up with. So I chose, um, the, the colors are kind of fallish, so I chose to make fall cards with um, the Christmas Bulb Builder Punch. And again, not Christmassy, I made fall cards. So I hope you'll enjoy that and check back so you can see that. 
and Emma is saying we have deer here that like to run in front of cars. Yeah, we do too, and that's why we have a deer hunting season. Same reason we have a bear hunting season is because we need to keep the the herds under control. Right, so yeah, and um, it's a good sport, <laughs> if I do say so myself. All right, um, so I've got First Frost online class coming out on Friday. I've got a blog hop coming out on Monday. If you happen to go over to my blog, in the right-hand column, you're going to see lots of things. One of the things you're going to see is a place where you can enter your email address to subscribe, and I hope you do that. Um, I do post almost always Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so there's five posts a week where I'm sharing stamping ideas with you. Um, Wednesday I do a tip video and it can be anything from how I store my paper to um, a technique so that's always kind of fun well it's not kind of fun it's really fun I have a good time with it um, let's see what else do I have oh I need to announce the winner of the online class for my VIP um, drawing tonight I did a drawing. Now, I have a VIP Facebook group, which is different than this group. That group is reserved for my customers who have ordered from me. So if you've ever placed an order with me and you're not on my VIP Facebook group, you need to um, send me a private message. Don't leave a comment here because I will have 900 or so comments to go through and I might miss it leave me a private message saying, Kelly, I need to be on your VIP page and I will be happy to add you to that. We just, um, <clears throat> I just put up a little competition asking if they were to win a free online class, which one would they like? Because I'm gonna give away one of my online classes and those have a $20 minimum value. So um, if you're not on that VIP group and you should be, let me know. And if you'd like to get into that VIP group, all you have to do is place an order with me through my online store or in person if you come to my stamping events. I would be happy to have you there. Um, Oh, and I just put up a new host code for the month of October. And um, I will show that to you in just a few minutes. But before we get going here, I would like to show you a card that I got in the mail this week from Sharon Jones. Sharon is from Sulphur, Louisiana. And it's funny, Sharon. I hope you're watching. I didn't see your name come through. But... Um, I am using the stamp set that Sharon made her card with for our project, one of our projects tonight, two actually. So I was kind of like, oh my gosh, we must be on the same wavelength. So here is Sharon's card. And isn't this just pretty? This is from the, um, I don't know what it's called yet, but I'll have it for you in a minute. The Snowflake stamp set. Hang tight, I've got it right here someplace. Um, yeah. Beautiful blizzard. Here we go. Beautiful blizzard. Um, where is my list of cl uh, classes? Well, when you go to my blog, you can scroll down and at the bottom of every blog post, I put in an informational section. Links to my store, links to this, links to that. One of the things on there is click here to see my online classes and that's where you'll be able to go to see my whole list of online classes and they're fabulous. I've gotten so many compliments on them. So back to beautiful blizzard and are we backwards again? We are. My mirroring didn't work very good did it? Hang on a second. Let's see what am I going to push here? I don't want to mess anything up. Oh there I'm upside down. <laughs> here we go. And now we're good. Okay, so it makes it backwards for me, which is kind of weird. There we go. So this is the beautiful Blizzard card. And this is the card that Sharon made for me. Isn't that pretty? I love, love, love it. And then on the inside, it says, if a hug were a snowflake, I'd send you a Blizzard. Thank you very much, Sharon. That is just so pretty. I'm going to set this right back here on my little shelf so I can look at it and smile. Because anytime I get a card in the mail... It brings a smile to my face. I always appreciate that. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think we should...
take a little look at what I shared this week on my blog because I had some super cute stuff on there. And I'm going to start off with these two. Aren't these cute? Yeah, these are from the Paper Pumpkin Kit. September's Paper Pumpkin Kit was absolutely adorable. Now, I did not check online to see if um, we still have these available, but when I left Friday, they were. If you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, you have to be a subscriber first. So there's a link on my blog in the right-hand column where you can go right to my Paper Pumpkin. Once you are a subscriber, these were available, these kits were available to buy in the online store. So that was something new. Stampin' Up's never done that before, and it was pretty cool. Now, this kit actually was meant to make these little treat favors. Aren't they adorable? Hang on. Here's one more. So that's what the kit was intended to make. I'm trying to get them in there right. And then every month, I send out seven to eight alternate ideas with the paper pumpkin kit but um, I just joined another collaboration for paper pumpkin and I'll actually be sending all my customers around 18 different ideas with the paper pumpkin kit so I'm really excited to be able to provide that for you so here's what I made alternate idea these are our tiny treat boxes and our scallop tag punch super super cute all of the information for these cards, the size and score lines for this little tag on this box are all on my blog from last week. And then I also made a rainbow, Halloween rainbow, mind you, of cards using the kit. So the kit came with these, um, whoops, I'm on the wrong side, these little ghosts and all kinds of little die cuts. So that's what we have there. And then each one was a little different on the inside. So I used the boo and the spooky. Whoops, did I do that too fast? I'm sorry. I've seen these a hundred times. <laughs> I'm like, maybe you'd like to see them since I'm showing them to you. And the eek. In each paper pumpkin kit comes with an ink spot or two, a stamp set, which you can see the stamp set here, some of it. And um, they're just adorable. I love them. So that was from last week, and let me get these cleared off here so I have room to work with you. And then, did you see the faux torn edge technique on my blog Friday? I have a video tutorial for this, and this is a really cool technique. It's really great for um, beginning stampers that might not have a lot of cardstock because it gives the illusion of different layers when it's not it's just a faux torn edge this is all one layer and then for this one I actually did my faux torn edge down here in black and it looks like a silhouette right pretty cool I saw Sherry just asked if I show or if I um, gave out the winner of the online class last week and I have that right here on my list and I hope she's watching Raylene Wondro. You are the winner. And Raylene said if she won, she would like to get the Blended Seasons online class. So congratulations. I will be sharing that um, tonight when I'm done with my Facebook Live. I will be emailing Raylene this online class. And I hope she loves it as much as I loved making it. Because there's some pretty, pretty darn cool ideas in there. Thank you, Deborah, for congratulating her. That is so sportsmanlike. I love that. Thank you, Karen. The faux torn edge is really fun. All right, so that was my winner from that from that drawing. Then the other thing I'm going to be doing a drawing for is each month for um, everyone placing orders, I add their name to a drawing and I draw um, a free stamp set of their choice. And I will be doing that drawing after my Facebook Live tonight because it is the last day of the month. So that's a monthly drawing. I'll be announcing that winner tomorrow on my blog. So um, good luck to all of you. I use random.org to select my winners, and that works out really good for me. Okay, are you guys ready to stamp? 
we're going to have to turn this phone over and see how this goes because we are going to be tall tonight and that's going to kind of throw me off. So be patient with me. Um, hopefully we can get these problems solved next, next time. I don't understand. I'm going to do some investigating and Google what is going on with Facebook Live and why I can't get my screen to be sideways and work. Um, it worked fine all these months and now all of a sudden, but whatever. We're not going to worry about it. We have some stamping to do. Okay, don't forget to share my video. Um, share my Facebook Live. You can click on that share right now. Sharing is caring. <laughs> and I do appreciate that. You can also share it if you're watching later on Face or on YouTube. There is a share button, and I appreciate that too. And those people that do share my video on YouTube, I also enter you into the drawings that I do here. Oh, that's what I have to do. I have to give away prizes. Where are they? And you guys know I was gone all weekend, so hang tight because I do have prizes someplace. Oh, I've got them right here. Oh, I almost forgot. Holy cow. Okay. Oh, and Chris just said everyone is having problems with Facebook Live. Thank you for telling me that because um, <laughs> Linda said the Russians hacked it. I don't know. Um, thank you for telling me that because I have not been on Facebook all weekend. Where we go bear hunting, I have to run into town. So if you guys emailed me um, or placed orders and I haven't thanked you yet, I have to run into town and I sit in the Shopco parking lot and pull out my laptop and my phone and hook it up and start answering emails that need immediate attention. Otherwise, I just wait until after my Facebook Live tonight and um, start answering them. So I apologize for the delay. When I go to my mom's house for bow hunting, I don't have that problem because my mom has internet, so I can take care of everything there. All right, let me set this down for a second. I have winners. Okay, so last week, four comments. If you comment, please comment. Tell me where you're coming from. Um, you can leave that in the comment. I need to know so that I can enter you into the drawing that I'll be doing for next week from tonight, okay? Everybody that comments gets entered in the drawing. And last week, Lori Tibbetts of, I think Lori is of, from West Allis, Wisconsin, you are going to get a pack of the Tutti Frutti Adhesive Backed Sequins. And I absolutely love these. I know you're going to love them too. So that's for Lori for her comment. And then I have um, for sharing my video last week is Lisa Meyer of Austin, Texas. And Lisa and I just recently connected. Lisa is actually my sister. My dad was her dad too. So that's kind of exciting. And we have, um, we have not seen each other since I was about 12 years old. But Lisa watches my videos and we've been um, talking back and forth on Facebook. So that's been really fun. Lisa's going to get the heavily sought after chicken wire elements. These are on back order and not orderable um, until sometime in October, which is going to be tomorrow starts October, right? But sometime in October, they're going to be available to order again. So, um, congratulations, Lisa. And then, I don't know what happened to my list that I had written out of our winners, but I've got, oh, never mind, I'm being silly. Connie Billerman of Raleigh, North Carolina is winning this warm-hearted, exclusive host set. Now, this is a set that you can only buy if you place a $150 order or have a party and you are the host or hostess. So Connie is going to get this one. So congratulations. And Connie was entered in the drawing for all the orders that were placed since last week. So that's exciting. And I will be getting these out in the mail. I have addresses for everybody here. I will be getting these out in the mail tomorrow. I like to go to the post office right away and get everything in the mail because I know if I was a winner, I would be very impatiently awaiting my prize, right? Okay. All right. Now I think I've done it. I have told you all the little tidbits that I need to tell you. And now we need to stamp, right? Okay. One other thing that I might do. I know I said I was going to start, but I, I just lied a little bit. Um, <laughs> one other thing that we're going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to put a poll, I think, on my Facebook page. If I have the ability to do that, I'm not real sure because I've never done it before, but I'll figure it out. 
gonna put a poll on there. I've had a few people asking me whether I am going to switch my Facebook Lives back to 6 p.m. Central Time. Right now I start at 7 p.m. Central Time. And I've had a few people asking me if I'm gonna switch back. Now, I want to, <laughs> my husband just said this is the most I've seen you all week. I know, honey. I will be done in about an hour, and I promise I will come and change your ice bag and take care of you. I promise. I'm sorry. But we have stamping to do. <laughs> so um, do you want me to change back to 6 p.m. Central Time or stay at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time? Um, oh, no, my phone isn't plugged in, Melanie. Thank you. Um, I like the 7 p.m. time. Because especially with the fall hunting season, I can um, I don't have to be home as early from my weekend up north as I would if I had to start at 6 o'clock. Does that make sense? So I like the 7 p.m., but I've heard from a few of you that it's causing some issues because you have to put your littles to bed. And I totally get that. It's Sunday night. They have school on Monday. And um, I do understand that. So... If we'll do a we'll do a little poll after I'm done, and I'll ask you what you guys prefer. And I think majority will rule there. Okay, that's fair. And I may not get the answer I want either, so <laughs> I'm good with it. All right. I think what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to flip my phone down. This could be very interesting. So hang on for this ride um, because we're we're this way instead of that way, and it's weird. But if you get motion sickness, I want you to close your eyes right now. I'm going to flip my phone down, and I'll tell you when you can open them again when I'm ready, okay? So time to close. We're going to do ah, this. Hey, do you guys like my new picture? Look at that. I'm going to get the ah, fall back there. Oh, let me, right there. Yay. Yeah, I did a little decorating. Um, we're going to flip the phone. And... Here we go, and I somehow need to mirror this, so hang tight. I'm not ready for you to open your eyes yet. I gotta take the mirroring off. There we go. Okay, so now I have to change this. Whoops, I'm gonna leave it that way. Be patient with me, this is weird. I have not gone live like this in, in this format before. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it says rotate your phone. Why is it telling me that? Okay, we're back. Oh, I think I'm touching a button on the side. Hang on, you guys, I don't want to do that. Okay, here we go. This is going to have to be good. Are we good? I think we're good. Okay, let me get my cord out of the way here without messing anything up. Okay, you guys can open your eyes. Woohoo! That was stressful. <laughs> All right, we are going to bring in our first card. Now, I am going to do a Halloween card with you guys. And then, like I said, we're going to use that beautiful Blizzard Snowflake set because I've had people asking me for Halloween cards. I mean, <laughs> Christmas cards. I've been doing Halloween cards, but I've had people asking me for Christmas. So Christmas it is. You want to see Christmas? We're going to do Christmas. And I'm going to turn on another light here. And we are going to use a new punch tonight for me. I just got it in the mail. I don't know how I missed it. But it's this, I don't know what this is called. The moon and stars punch? I'm not really sure. Um, let me take a look in the catalog. Because I, like I said, I'm not, I'm not sure what the name of it is. I just got it this last week. Oh, I'm almost there. Twinkle Builder. There we go. The Twinkle Builder. And hang on while I pull up my comments. There we go. Yeah, Linda thinks that I should only work on 3x3 three three cards because my screen is small. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I don't like it. But um, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. I hope Facebook gets this straightened out because it has, it's has it been playing havoc with me for quite a while. All right. I have a very, very fun card for you tonight. And we are going to be using the Toil and Trouble Designer Series paper. Yep, okay. 
Here we go. We are going to use, I'm getting all my little bits and pieces out here. Because you guys know I cheat a little bit when I'm on my Facebook Lives. <laughs> okay. I have got an envelope here. And this is so weird because I cannot see what I'm doing. Um, huh. Okay. So what's happening? What is, I just missed something. It's just the way it is for some of us. I don't know what's happening, Lori, but I missed that comment. Okay, so we've got Gorgeous Grape. I'll hold it this way. Hopefully you can see it. You know what, you guys? With my screen like this, I am not going to see your comments. This is going to be crazy. Yeah, it isn't cheating, really, Deborah. I am prepared because I do not like you guys to sit in limbo for too long while I'm die cutting stuff. I mean, we all know how to die cut. Unless it's something particular, I will show you. But I don't like you to sit there watching stuff like that, waiting, waiting. So we've got four and a quarter by 11, and I have scored this at five and a half, gorgeous grape cardstock. Then I've got a piece of basic black that is four by five and a quarter, and a piece of whisper white that's four by five and a quarter, and a piece of crumb cake that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And then I've got scraps. Oh, and then I have this piece. How big is this? Let's see, did I write that down? Hang on. Yep, half inch by three and seven eighths is what you're going to need. So I've got all of these. And did my screen just freeze? It did. Hmm, isn't that interesting? Okay, now I think we're live again for me. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this little strip, and I've got um, two Memento black ink pads here. I'll just take one of them. And I'm going to stamp the Happy Halloween from the Cauldron Bubble stamp set. This is the one that I'm using tonight. You guys have seen me use it before because I'm using the, it like crazy. I love, love, love it. And I'm just going to stamp a Happy Halloween. And that's a little too close to the top. I don't like it. So we're going to try it again. I'm going to stand up so I can see what I'm doing here. And we're going to try this. Oh, that looks so much better, doesn't it? Yeah. And then I am going to glue this to my black layer. And my black layer is just an eighth of an inch bigger. Oops, hang on. My glue's not wanting to come out here. And I've got a strip of black here that is going to actually be three and seven eighths long when I get done with it. So I like to leave it longer so I can just trim it when I put it on my card front. And that works. Whoops. That works good for me. Did you see me just squiggle it? Yeah. That wasn't the best idea. All right. Next, I've got crumb cake ink here. And I've got the broom image from this stamp set. And here's what I'm going to do. Am I, yep, I'm still good in my frame here, right? I want to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing. This is so weird. <laughs> I am going to stamp my little broom just like this. I'm going to stamp it. And I'm using crumb cake ink on crumb cake cardstock. And I'm trying to stamp it straight across with a whole bunch of little brooms. And maybe one more here. There we go. I want it to look like it just keeps going. Now I'm going to turn it around. And I'm going to kind of stamp. Whoops, that one should have been down further, you guys. <laughs> kind of messed that up. We're going to do this. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. I was trying to figure out if I was in the screen or not. You know what? I don't think anybody's even going to notice that. Do you? I don't even think so. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so here we go. And then I took this Happy Halloween, and I'm going to put this across the front of my card. And I'm going to put it right in the middle of my broom handles. What do you guys think so far? It's kind of cute, right? I thought this was a good idea. And I want to make sure it's straight here before I cut it. That looks pretty good. I'm going to trim this off from the back, just like that, and then we're going to jazz it up a little bit. So where did my, here's my little scraps. So I wanted to show you 
the framelits that come with this bundle, there is, here's the one for the cauldron. So have a little cauldron right here, right? Here's the one for the cat. And then there's one for the witch's hat, which, oh, there it is, it fell down in here. I'm like, where'd that go? I know I just used it before I went up north. That's another thing, I've been getting all of these cards done before I leave town, which, if you know me, that is such a miracle because I am not, I do not plan ahead well. So, okay, so I would die cut the cat, the cauldron, and then this cute little hat right here, okay? Through the magic of TV, of course, you know that I have this done already. And here comes my hat, and here comes my cauldron, and here comes my little cat. Oops, hang on, I just touched my screen and made my video go away, there it is. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to use Probably some regular dimensionals and some mini dimensionals. Who has mini dimensionals and loves them? Leave me a comment. I want to see who has mini dimensionals. I love these things because I don't have to cut dimensionals anymore. Well, once in a great while, but not too often. I'm going to put dimensionals on my kitty cat. And before I go any further, I've got my wink of Stella here. Pat says she does, and she loves them, and I do too. Oh, and Sharon said every time she clicks on the thumbs up, her screen freezes. Well, then stop doing that, but I appreciate your attempt. I appreciate your effort there. I just wanted to color in my moon on my hat with that wink of Stella, and I hope you guys can see that in the camera because it's really cool. It just adds that, adds that little bit of glitz, it's that little bit of extra that I always love. Okay, we're going to go with some big dimensionals here on the hat, and now we're going to put our card together. Hang on, I'm going to see, what did I do on the inside? Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> you know, it's funny, my memory is horrible. And I do not remember, like, I did not honestly know what I put on the inside of this card. I have to look at it. And that's like, oh, my Lord, Kelly, really? You just made it, like, on... Well, I made this a couple weeks ago. I've been holding it. So here comes my cute little cat. And here comes my cute little hat. And I'm just going to put pop that right here. Super cute, right? And then... I've got some of our black foil sheets. Let me get this out of here before I make a disastrous mess. And that's what I brought in this twinkle, what was it called? Twinkle something punch. <laughs> I don't remember already. See, I told you, terrible memory. And I'm just gonna punch out some of these little stars. And the thing that caught me was it's like, where are people getting that star punch? I saw stars on other projects. I'm like, where is that coming from? Because I love to have something to punch out stars with. And then I looked and sure enough, it was right there in the catalog on the moon punch, the twinkle builder punch. Twinkle builder, thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Sandy. Twinkle builder punch. Okay, so a little bit of glue there and I'm gonna do a tiny little bit of glue here. Then I think I'm gonna have to turn my space heater off under my table because it's burning my leg. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want me to get burned, do we? Yeah, I, my house is really cold when I got home. I don't think my husband turned the pilot light on yet. And it is cold here in Wisconsin. Like, I think last night, oh, my crown just got knocked off my head. I think last night it was like down to 30 or something like that, so yeek. Okay, now we're gonna glue this to, Kathy says she loves her mini dimensionals too. I do too, and you know, you get like 700 of them in a package, and I don't know, how much are they, $4, something like that. Okay, here comes the inside now, and this is what I did with my inside. I'm gonna take the greeting that says, bubble, bubble, toil, and trouble. And I am going to see if I can stamp it straight. Oh, very good. <laughs> I'm always impressed with myself when I do that. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take 
this little cauldron and I'm going to put that right down here. That's a great way to use that designer series paper. Did I show this to you again, you guys? I don't think I did. But here it is. You have a whole sheet with cauldrons on it and witches and cats and bats and brooms and pumpkins and ghosts and hats and frogs. Oh my gosh, it's, it's just so much fun. And then I felt like I needed one more thing here. What could that thing be? Um, a bat, of course. What did Kathy say? We have had the furnace on in our camper this weekend. I believe it. It's cold. And Debbie says it's 80s in Texas. Well, I need to come to Texas. That's where my sister Lisa lives, is in Austin, Texas. And I need to be down there where it's warm because I love warm weather. But I do have to tell you, um, up in the Northwoods of Wisconsin, the leaves are changing up there. They're not so much any place around here. Even by Wausau, they weren't. They were The woods were still all green for the most part. The color show is magnificent up there. And I always stop by this little lake called Sailor Lake that we drive by frequently when we're up there and um, take some pictures. So I've got a picture of me and Haley and my mom by the lake and then just some pictures of the lake. It's the trees around the outside of the lake are just outstanding. Okay, we are ready with this card that was super easy, you guys, and stinking adorable. I love Halloween. I should show you guys the stuff that I've painted. I used to do decorative painting with acrylic paints on, you know, wood. And um, I have the cutest little Halloween decoration, maybe a couple of them. I'll try to dig those out to get them out to decorate my house. And then I'll show them to you next week because they're really, I'm very proud of them. My mom is doing um, toll painting, rose mauling actually, rose mauling, which is, uh, I don't know, we've talked about it before. Is it Norwegian or Swedish or something? But anyways, okay, so you want to see what I did to my envelope? <gasps> Ta-da! I used the little chubby ghost and I made the flap with the paper. So here's what I did. I took the um, designer series paper and I put it face down and I, oh, wait. I took my flap of my envelope and I put glue on it and then I put it face down on the edge of my designer series paper and I just took my scissors and quickly cut it and voila. So we've got this cute little flap to go with this super fun Halloween card. Yeah, love it. Okay, are we ready for the next one? Let me get this stuff picked up so that I don't lose any of my framelits because if you've ever done that, you know that it can make grown women cry. And men. Is Michael on here tonight? Michael is usually watching me too. We don't want any crying. <laughs> There's no crying and stamping. All right. Um, let me get this put away. And my ink. So what are you guys drinking tonight? Chime in and let me know. I need a drink, and I am drinking in my favorite anniversary cup. Beautiful, right? I am drinking um, raspberry lemonade crystal light because I drink soda all weekend. I'm just kind of soda out. I know. I'm, I'm not dieting right at the moment, although I do need to get back to that. Um, but... I was drinking soda all weekend, and I just find that when I drink my Pepsi, I have energy. And when I don't, I'm extremely tired, and I needed energy, so I went with the Pepsi. Okay, next. We're going to come in here with this blizzard thing. What's in this other bin over here? Oh, that's my other card. Okay. All right. Here we go. So, Snowflake Blizzard. Have you guys seen much of this? Because... I have to tell you, it is amazing. It also comes with, where's my, look at this. Oh, isn't that the coolest? It, it doesn't come with it. You can order this as a bundle. So it's got this framelit plate and the stamp set. When you order both of them, you get a 10% discount. And just spectacular, you guys. Absolutely spectacular. So I've got a really cool technique to show you with this. And what is this? This is a blizzard, thinlet dies. Oh, I'm just gonna leave those in there. I don't need that package. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get out my cardstock layers. I've got powder pink. Um, here we go. I 
did that. Okay. Here's my card so I know what I'm doing. Because, you know, we already talked about my memory. <laughs> we don't know need to rehash all that, right? Okay. I have got a piece. Um, I've got actually two pieces of Whisper White cardstock. And these are both four by five and a quarter. I've got a piece of powder pink that is one by four. An envelope to decorate, which I haven't done anything with it yet. And then this powder pink card base that is four by five and a quarter. Linda says blizzard what? We are now starting the remnants of, oh, Hurricane Rosa, where Linda is. Winds just picked up, and it only got to the low 90s today. Well, oh, my Lord. Yeah. Um, I hunt with um, our, my favorite hillbilly, we call him, and he and affectionately. I hunt with a um, man from North Carolina, and he's up in the mountains. They got about six inches of rain with the hurricane, so I feel for everybody that's dealing with that hurricane for sure. Okay. Let me think about what I'm doing here a little bit. We're going to do the inside of this card first. Where's my stamp set? Right here. So I've got powder pink ink, and I'm going to take one of those white pieces right here. And I am going to stamp with this amazing blizzardy type stamp. This is just so very cool. And I can't remember if I stamped off once or not. So we're going to see what happens here. And I did stamp off once. So I, there's one stamp. Here's stamp number two. So it's very faded. <laughs> That's one way to do it, right? And then I love the greetings that are in the stamp set, you guys. And the fonts, of course, are funky. And I love those, too. Is that shining in your eyes? I hate it when those glare at you. That's why I kind of always set them aside. Now I'm going to go full strength. And... We're going to stamp this right side up, preferably, Kelly. <gasps> Thinking of you with love. And isn't that sweet? And then we've got all these beautiful snowflakes. And I'm just going to stamp these along the bottom. And I'm going to move them around so they don't look uniform. I don't, you know, when you're doing something like this, you want them to look pretty random. And maybe just one more right there. So this is the inside of our card, and I just wanted that to be decorated, and that's where we couldn't remember. <laughs> I think I might have to grab a new bottle of glue, because this is getting pretty weak. Okay, inside of our card, I'm going to put that together right away. Now I know it seems crazy to be making Christmas cards, but as stampers, we kind of like to get ready for things, don't we? Yeah, I know. It's hard. Okay, I'm gonna bring my big shot in. Because I want you to see this, it's important that you know how I did this. Well, it's important to me that you know how I did this. I'm sure it's important to you too. So I've got my magnetic platform here. And then I'm coming in with my precision plate. These precision plates, are for your very detailed dies, and this would certainly qualify for that, right? So, one way that I learned from my friend Dina to keep your plates from getting all um, bowed and cruddy and whatever is to put your die up instead of down. And we're gonna try that right now. So, I want this to be in the middle of my layer, and I've got a little piece of tape on it to kinda keep it there. I'm going to center this, and I just taped it down to my platform, which is not what I meant to do. Hang tight. See if I can get it off there. There we go. It's it's taped, and I, and I put my fingers on the tape a few times so it's not super sticky. And so I'm going to turn this over, and now my cutting blades are up. That's going to save on this warpage that we get with our plates. And that's what my friend Dina tells me. And she swears by it. And believe me, when Dina swears, I know she's serious. <laughs> so I'm going to push this through now. With your precision plate, if you don't have one of these, this is an accessory that you can order um, from me. With your precision plate, it just gets it a lot tighter. 
okay? And it really works well with these particular um, framelits, or um, not framelits, but dies. That's what I wanted to say. And because this one is so very detailed and has so many things to cut out, I like to turn it and run it through again, which is exactly what I did. And when you look at the back, you should be able to see whether it is cut all the way or not. And if you see some things that look a little faded, some line, cutting lines that look faded, that means it's not done yet. So just run it, turn it sideways, run it through like this, then turn it sideways and run it through like that. And oh my gosh, everything is now cut and I know that for sure. All right, let me get rid of this big shot here. And then I've got my Big Shot dye brush here. And again, this thing, if I did not have this, I would not use these dyes very often at all because they would make me want to poke my eyes out. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a lot of patience for poking all these things out with my pokey tool, which is what people do if they don't have this dye brush. And it's like, it's only like, I don't know, $10. Put it on your next order. You are never going to be sorry that you have this thing. I absolutely love it. And look at all those glorious snowflakes. Ah, I absolutely love them. Love, love, love. Hang on, I'm having some difficulties here with my video. There it is. Okay, just trying to see both. All right, click for more. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Are you ready? Oh, look, I just put it up on my screen, so now I can see both. I didn't even know I could do that. <laughs> oh, the things we learned. Okay, now, because I um, made this tape so it wasn't so sticky, or you can use temporary tape, but I don't have any, so I just went like this a few times so it wasn't so sticky so it doesn't tear my cardstock. But you want to be very careful about pulling this paper off this die because it is very intricate, and you just die cut a whole bunch of holes out of here. Here we go. And if it does happen to tear in between snowflakes, I did that on the one that I made um, last week. Don't worry about it because when you glue it down, it's going to be just fine. So don't don't freak out. It's okay. Like see this piece right here just just tore because I had it too close. I didn't get it far away far enough away from the edge. Not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Look at these beautiful snowflakes though. Are they not? They're gorgeous. I love them. They're so intricate and dainty and pretty. Okay, so all the bits and pieces are out of here. Now, we're going to just set that aside and don't throw away those snowflakes, right? Because we're going to use them for something else. Okay. Um, somebody doesn't like the dye brush. Denise, you don't like it? Oh, my goodness. So, here's a little tip. You want to leave your dye attached to your paper when you use it because you can be really aggressive. And then, usually when you pick it up, all your pieces have fallen out. What don't you like about it? Because I, I really want to know because I love mine. I love it. Like, love, love, love. All right, let's bring this back in here. Now, you guys saw that I had one of these um, adhesive sheets in here, right? So, these are, um, I sell these, multi-purpose adhesive sheets. And you get 12 sheets that are this big. So you really get a lot in a pack of these. And these are great for die cutting. Like, let's say, let me grab this because it matches my sweatshirt. <laughs> um, die cutting this, if you wanted to stick it on a card, you could first put it on here and then die cut it. And peel the back off and you have a sticker. So that's kind of what these are really made for. Um, but anyways, I've already got a piece cut that is four by five and a quarter and hang on a second because I think I forgot one of my, nope, I'm good. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this sheet and I'm going to, there's a little peel line on here. You want to make sure when you cut it that you cut it so you still have that peel line. This part with the words on it, that's garbage. This we're going to take and stick right on the back of our die cut layer. You want to be careful when you do this because you do not get a second go around with this at all. <laughs> it is relentless, kind of like sticky strip. Okay, and I'm just going to come in here and push down those insides of those snowflakes. 
so that they're all on there. And now I'm going to peel off, I'm going to push it down good around the edges, and I'm going to peel off the backing. Oops, hang on, I didn't push it down very good, you guys. It's not sticking. There we go. Push that, push it, push it, push it. Da, 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 da. Let's see if it's sticking now. Yep, now it's sticking better. But see, it's not sticking. Oh, you know what? Hmm. I think I kind of did this wrong. So, let me think about this for a second. Let's, well, let's pull the back off of here. We're going to see how it works. Yeah, no, it's not going to work because I did it wrong. So, <laughs> live TV, remember? We're going to toss that. I just happen to have another piece here. And that's why I kind of stalled going, do I need a piece of pink? And I do. So hang tight. I'm going to get another piece of powder pink because that's what I was missing with my um, layer. I need a layer of powder pink. So let's get the old paper cutter out here. And I'm going to cut five and a quarter by four. And I'm just doing a smidge less than that, okay? So here's our layer that I forgot I needed. And then we're gonna cut a new one of these so I can show you how to really do this. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have 290 people watching me right now. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am so happy you're spending your Sunday evening with me. Please don't forget to share my video. That really helps me out. I really appreciate that. You can push that share button right away. So here's my four and then here's my five and a quarter. So there we go. All right, let's try this again. Because yep, I forgot that one little thing. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this powder pink layer and we're going to peel the backing off. And we're gonna put this on our pink layer. Yep, this is what I did last week. That threw me. I just forgot to cut that piece of cardstock is all. Now again, you want to make sure this is on here, and when you go to lay it down, don't try to pull it back up because it doesn't it doesn't forgive you. It's like, nope, nope, you just made a mistake, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but it is some amazing stuff. I love it. And now we've got that little, let's see if I can get my finger in there. It's going to give me a hard time now. Use my pokey tool to pull that right up. There we go. I need to get this little white strip out of here. Okay, so I just pulled that out. Push that down. And now we're going to make sure we've got this secured to our pink layer and we're gonna pull this right up. This is what I should have done. Okay, now I am going to lay this down on here and again, <laughs> Make sure that you have this where you need it because you are not pulling it back up. I think I did a pretty good job. Now we're gonna come in the middle here. You can use your pokey tool and just press down the middle of these snowflakes or you can just lightly go around with your finger. You don't wanna stick it in the sticky stuff because you don't want that to come off. And it, and it doesn't come off super easy, you guys. So don't have to really be that afraid or anything. Okay, you guys know what the next step is? Who's figured out what I'm going to do? Uh, yeah, amazing. Here we go. I have Dazzling Diamonds, <laughs> girl's best friend, right? And we are going to, oops, hang on, I'm going to push that down a little bit. There we go. You want to make sure that all those little edges are pushed down. And I am just going to sprinkle this on my layer and tap it off. Now, if I hadn't made that mistake, we'd have been done with this in a jiffy. It's a really easy technique to do. What do you guys think? Is that beautiful? Yeah. Love me some dazzling diamonds. All right, let me put this away and we'll finish our card. So I'm gonna set this aside for just a second. Hang on. I love it when I glimmer. <laughs> My husband will go, um, you have a little bit of glitter on your nose. I'm like, yeah, I know. I put it there. <laughs> Don't worry about my glitter on my nose. All right, then we've got this little piece. 
and I'm bringing in some Versamark. And I've got, if a hug were a snowflake, I'd send you a blizzard, just like the one that Sharon used on my card. This is that greeting. We wanna make sure that we're using our embossing buddy. Oh yeah, Deborah just said I could turn this layer upside down on my silicone craft sheet. Hang on. This little bugger right here, I could have turned this upside down before I put the glitter on it and pushed on it to get all these little intricate pieces in the middle pushed all the way down onto my adhesive sheet. That is an excellent idea. Thank you so much for sharing that. You know, these silicone sheets, we sell these. It's called a silicone craft sheet. These are good for so many things, and so often I forget to use them. And it's right in a drawer behind me, so I've got no excuses. Maybe I'll just leave it right out here on my desk so I can remember. Okay, embossing buddy, we want to do that on our 1 by 4 inch powder pink layer. Then we're going to stamp our greeting, hopefully straight. Let's see, how did I do? Oh my gosh, I did really good. <laughs> hmm. Shocking. All right, and then I've got a piece of paper here, and I'm a big close your ink pad with the Versamark when you've got out embossing powder because if you spill embossing powder in there, it's not coming out. It's a disaster. It still works fine, but <gasps> look at I did do it really straight. Okay, and then if you have any little bits, just blow really hard, like. Give it a big puff of air. Now let me put this away. We're gonna get out that heat tool. Just in case I mess this up, I do have another one done. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. All right, white embossing powder. Now I'm gonna bring in my heat tool. This is gonna get a little loud, you guys. And you wanna hang around for my next card because I'm using some elements from this card to make my next card. Okay, hang tight. I've got my pokey tool in here because I do not want my fingers to get burned. And then I have people ask me, does this burn my um, piercing mat that I've got covered up with paper here that I used to stamp on? No, it doesn't. It's, I don't know, it's really hardy. Okay, and some people wave their gun around. You don't have to do that. Just You can just hold it still. I like to tilt it so I can see what's going on. You can see that's turning white. And once it's shiny, don't overheat it. You're done. Boom. That didn't take long, did it? Okay, so here comes this. And then I took my um, paper snips. I wanted a very um, shallow banner on the end. Oops, let's fling that around a little bit. And I'm gonna do that to both ends. Shallow little banner. And then we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back because, well, why wouldn't you, right? Okay, where's my card base? Right here. Here comes my beautiful, glittered up, bedazzled card front. Okay, guys, we're gonna do a little intermission while I grab another bottle. Take a drink. I'll be right back. Where's my glue? Oh, no, that's not it. Hmm. What did I do with my glue? Huh. I don't know. I got another started, but I was going to grab a virgin bottle of glue, but I don't, since I cleaned my room up and changed it all around, I don't know what I did with it. I'll find it for next time. Don't worry. Hopefully this glue will work. There, look at that. Mm, beautiful. Okay, so here comes our gorgeous card front. You guys saw how easy that was, right? It's just so, so simple to do this, especially with those adhesive sheets. They're perfect. And then we've got... Oh yeah, you can use tweezers or clothespins to hold your card layer while you're embossing, but I always have um, my pokey tool right here in a little dish next to me, so that's what I choose to use so I don't burn my fingers. Don't forget that those heat tools, they get up to like 400 and some degrees, so you can really cause some serious damage with them, and don't leave them plugged in, because if your cat or whatever knocks it off your table, it can start a fire. Ask me how I know that. I didn't do it, but I do know somebody personally that it started a fire in their bedroom where they had their gun plugged in, so 
Don't want to do that. Okay, here is our new Take Your Pick tool. And I'm going to use this to pick up some of these. These are called Basic Adhesive Backed Sequins. And you get several different colors. Some are iridescent, some are plain colored. But these are the little white ones. And I'm just going to add three of these to my greeting layer. And I am so happy that I bought this bundle because I am going to have so much fun with this. Okay, and Linda says, the heat might affect your manicure. No, I've never had any problems with that. My nails are pretty good. But look at that. How pretty is that? <gasps> this is the sad, beautiful blizzard. I'm going to be making a lot of stuff with this because I really love it. All right, I've got another card to show you using some of the elements that I cut out of this card because, gosh, you can't throw those snowflakes away, right? Yeah. Okay, hang on. We're going to bring out some Coastal Cabana because it is one of my favorite colors, all-time favorite colors. Let me get this stuff out of my way. Put this down. Oh, wait. Hello. I need to do something with my envelope. Do I still have my... Yep, here's my pink ink. So here's what I'm going to do with my envelope. Here's my paper. This is just my paper that I used for my embossing powder. And I'm gonna do this. I just fold it up a little bit here. And I'm gonna bring, oops, I folded it up too much. Bring this in here just like this. And I am going to decorate my envelope flap with the snowflakes, of course. Don't forget to make those envelopes beautiful. Sometimes when I'm making up a ton of thank you cards to send to you guys for my orders, I do not have time um, to do these envelopes. So I like to do them when I'm making the cards and then I forget. But don't forget to stamp up these envelopes. I always, at our team meetings, I'm always talking about that. And if you wanna join my team, don't forget about that whole thing. You can be a discount shopper with me. It's a fabulous, fabulous deal. You get 20% 20, 20 off all your orders. Um, if you have any questions about that, let me know because I'd love to have you on my team. We have a team meeting every month. If you're not local, you can come. You can watch it on Facebook Live because I do a Facebook Live just for my team. And I have some of the most incredible demonstrators. They, they are always helping me, volunteering to do company updates. They're volunteering to do demonstrations for us. So it's not just stuff coming from me. You get to see how other people demonstrate and um, they show us techniques. And oh my gosh, it's just so fun, you guys. But there we go. Here is our beautiful card with a beautifully decorated envelope. And now let's see the other one. All right, so... We are going to be using the mats. These are new with um, a big shot accessory for us. And let's see, I'm gonna bring out my catalog so I can show them to you because I don't remember exactly the exact, exact name of them. And I always like to tell you that because if you look it up in my online store, I want you to be able to find it, right? Let's see, we've got detailed embossing. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, you guys, where are the mats? Here they are, big shot embossing mats on the bottom here on page 221. And you get, you get a very thin mat, you get a thicker rubber mat, and then you get this plate. And I'm gonna show you what I did with this. Here comes my cardstock layers. I've got... Oh, here's my envelope. Hang on, I gotta see if I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> yeah. You would think that I would go through these bins when I get home from hunting and take a look at them, but I don't. <laughs> because I just fly by the seat of my pants. That's how I roll. All right, Coastal Cabana. And we're gonna be using the shimmer paint, so very cool. Oh, there's my other silicone mat. I knew I had two of them someplace. All right, guys, here's what's gonna happen. I am going to stamp up the inside of my card first here. Am I missing any questions? Oh, 
Denise says she just finished a card with the Tasty Treat truck for friends who are building a bakery. So excited for them. And she wrote the company name on the truck. Oh my gosh, that is so cute, Denise. What a great idea. I love that. I love to personalize stuff like that. Okay, this is our um, Whisper White Thick cardstock. And I am going to, oh, I need my little sneak set back here. Let me know what I, oops, did you hear my tin fall on the floor? You know what I didn't do yet is I didn't clean my stamp. So let's get out our handy dandy amazing chamois because I love this thing. Who has a chamois? I know I ask this frequently, but Okay, so Linda says, so do you, so what do you use the rubber gray mat for on the mats for embossing? Yeah, I do know because I actually looked this up. Um, it is to do very deep impressions. So we have some dies, Linda, that have, um, let me grab them because I don't know if I'm going to be able to explain this properly without doing that. So hang on just a second. We're going to get sidetracked for a minute here, you guys, but I think this is a great question that Linda just asked. So actually, at my team meeting earlier this month, my downline, Christine, showed us what she used that thicker mat for. And so she did a demonstration with it, and it was, like, pretty spectacular. So let me find... I got the thinlets that she used because I've used them. So hang on just a second. Still looking, still looking, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Where is it? Right here. Here we go. Okay, so once you run this through the big shot and die cut this particular image, do you see that it has these little um, leafy, uh, cross-hatchy little things in it, okay? So once you run this through and die cut it, you're then going to use, leave your cardstock on there and leave it face up. You're gonna put this mat over it and it is actually going to put this little image in each one of those leaves. So not only does it die cut it, but it embosses that image. That's the word I was looking for. It embosses that image into each leaf on here that has that cut out. That's what this thicker gray mat is for. It's pretty darn cool. Okay, let's get back to this. Oh, and what is this called? I know somebody's gonna ask. It's called foliage frame framelits. So that's what that is. All right. We're gonna get back to this. And I got my stamps clean now. Sorry, I forgot that I needed to use these again in a different color. So I've got the words and you are extraordinary. That's what's gonna go on the inside of our card here with Coastal Cabana. And Coastal Cabana is just one of my favorite colors because, well, it's delicious, isn't it? If you don't like Coastal Cabana, I'm not sure that we can really be friends. <laughs> And I'm just teasing. But then I'm just going to put those snowflakes right there. Instead of down at the bottom, I'm just going to have them right up here by our greeting. And I just think that's kind of a neat look. All right, next. Yeah, don't put the cutting edge on these pads. Um, who just said that? Sunny did. Yeah, because it'll cut this pad. You don't, you don't want that, okay? You don't want to cut it. All right, next, we are going to take our metal plate... And I know that I have um, harped at you guys that I like to make sure that all the little bits and pieces are poked out of these plates before I put them away. So the next time I go to use them, they're ready to roll. Well, guess what I did? <laughs> I didn't follow my own rules. Yeah, you know how that is. I was in a hurry to show you my beautiful card. Okay, so I'm just poking out these little dots. And I could use my die cut brush, but I set it over on the other side of the room and I'm kind of lazy. I had a long day. <laughs> I had a long day bear hunting. All right. Here we go. And driving. Our bear hunt wasn't probably even as long as our driving was. All right. So we're going to take this that I just threw over there for some reason. <laughs> and we're going to put this on our Coastal Cabana again. I'm going to bring my big shot back in so you can see how I do this. Because this is one of those times when I need to show you that. 
Okay. Set this aside. Now, I do not need this precision plate. So that's going bye bye. I'm going to take that out of there. I am going to use the plate that comes with my Big Shot. If you have an older Big Shot that has the tabs, you're just going to lift up one tab. But this is the um, newer plate, and it comes with another plate that lays on top of it. I don't have that plate on here. Okay, so this is all we've got is just a single platform. And then, oh, Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Hang on. I just stuck my plate in my Coastal Cabana ink and on my envelope. So let's get that out of the way. Here we go. So now we're going to do a plate. And then we have to turn this upside down because here's the deal. When you put these silicone um, mats on your image, it's not going to work if you put it on here like this and then put your mat over the top. That's not going to do anything. You need that mat to be able to push your cardstock into this die, okay? So always face up cutting blades up with the die. And we're going to put this right on top of it. And then instead of using another clear plate, you're going to use the white plate that comes with both of these mats. And we're going to put that on top. And let's see if that's the right combination. It feels like it. Okay. And you don't have to roll it back through and then back, but I just did so it's next to me so I can get it out of my... <gasps> what? Look at how beautiful it is. Look at this, you guys. I hope you can see that. Like so, so, so pretty, right? So that's what these mats are for. Couple different things you can do with them. And again, I sell these on page, I think I said page 221 in the big catalog. Okay, so you wanna see what I did with my beautiful snowflake card? Yeah, it's pretty cool. First, I'm gonna get out a piece of my grid paper because, did you guys see me bring this out? This is the shimmer paint. Okay, and I filled my spritzer. We sell these, you get, mm, I think, two in a pack for like $3. They're really inexpensive, but they spray a really fine mist, and that's why I love our spritzers. I filled this up about this far with rubbing alcohol, and then I took and I dropped just a couple drops of the white frost, frost white it's called, shimmer paint, and then I shake it up. And here's what I'm going to do with it. And this is so perfect, especially for a snowflake card. I'm going to just spritz some sparkle on there. And this will dry quickly because it is alcohol. That's why we don't put water in it. We put alcohol because it's just going to dry really fast. Look at that. Can you see that in the camera? How just very sparkly and beautiful these are? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Pat was reading my mind. Yay, Pat! <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, now I took this, and here's my card base. Let's get this back over here. I am going to put some of our Pool Party and Silver Baker's twine. This is so pretty. And even though this is Pool Party and I'm using Coastal Cabana cardstock, it's still going to look great, right? It's very, very similar. I'm just gonna wrap this around here. I'm gonna leave enough room so that I can tie a nice bow. And you guys know, I always like to tie my Baker's Twine in a knot so that I don't have to now mess around with it trying to keep it tight. You know what I mean? I don't need that finger in there to try to keep it tight. And you can do that with Baker's Twine. Not so much with ribbon, but with Baker's Twine it works really good. All right, now I want my bow. I'm gonna manipulate it a little bit. When you're pulling on these tails to make your bow smaller with Baker's Twine, hang on to your loops. If you don't hang on to your loops, they'll like curl up and twist and you'll never be able to get them back down again and they don't look very good. So just know that. All right, then, <clears throat> did I have a piece of scrap white? Yes, I did. Here comes, let's see, what does this say? We're gonna find out right now. 
There we go. <gasps> Snowflakes are unique in their own beautiful way. Let me close up the ink pad because I already dumped my envelope in it. Then we're going to run this through the Big Shot with the Stitched Shapes Framelit Circle. And this is like the second to the smallest one. And it barely, barely fits in here, but it does. Run that through your Big Shot. Through the magic of TV, here we go. <laughs> I love doing that. Um, and here comes... Oh, and Denise says she just put her two youngest kids through Hunter's Safety and she can't wait for the season to start. I'm telling you, it's hunting and kids. We really encourage kids to hunt. We had a 17-year-old boy come up um, late last week from Missouri. One of our hunters, I put dimensionals on back here, you guys. One of our hunters transferred his ticket in a giveaway at a youth um, benefit through some organization and the 17 year old from Missouri won it and him and his dad and his cousin came up from Missouri to Wisconsin and hunted with our group and he did get a bear that was the bear I told you about it was 266 pounds last week or 244 and um, it, it's just phenomenal it's a wonderful wonderful program okay here we go we're gonna glue this on the front of our card And you want to make sure you put glue all the way around the edge of this because um, because you're uh, putting this die on such, you know, it's got so much going on with it. It kind of makes your cardstock um, puff up a little bit. So you want to put glue all the way around that outside so it'll be stuck good to your card front. That's what I'm trying to say. My gosh, this is so pretty. And I know it's even prettier in real life. You guys can't even see all the gorgeousness from the camera. And then remember all these snowflakes that we cut out of that first card we made? Well, I have them right here and I am going to add them to this card front. And I'm using my little glue on a plate. If you guys are fairly new to me, you might not have ever seen me do this, but I really this is the way I really like to do this. Here's my silicone sheet. I've got my snowflakes turned upside down here. And I'm going to put some glue on them with a sponge. I just, oops, I got that off camera, don't I? I just dabbed this around so that it's not big clunks of glue. And I'm going to add my glue to the back of my snowflake. This is better than having blobs of glue on the back and then it squirts out the front, right? This is just a great way to glue those adhesive things. Now I could have also um, run my whole sheet through one of the adhesive sheets, one of these, and turned these into stickers. That probably would have been a really good idea since I told you about doing that, but I didn't think of it because, well, you know, <laughs> things happen when you're creating. You forget some stuff. Let's just put it that way. And then I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna tuck it right under here, get rid of this, and again, here is another beautiful shimmery card using that snowflake bundle called Beautiful Blizzard. So this stamp set is just such a nice compliment to go with that die. I can't even tell you. Like I said, you're going to see a lot more beautiful things coming out from me using this particular bundle because I have just touched the tip of the iceberg. All right, you guys, I'm sure I missed some questions or comments that I should have responded to, but it's really weird on my screen having my camera be tall instead of landscape or whatever, landscape and por portrait instead of landscape. That's what it's called. But here are the projects we made tonight. Love, love, love this new one. Of course, you know that I love this. I think one little tiny thing that I forgot to do here, and I'm going to do it right now while I still have you guys on here, unless you're in a hurry. Um, don't forget to share my video. I really appreciate that. That's one way you can help me out. Click on that like button. You can do that right now too. Um, where'd my envelope go? Right here. And my little piece of paper, here it is. I'm going to do the same thing to this envelope that I did to that pink one. And I'm going to stamp these snowflakes all over. Don't forget I have a blog hop coming out tomorrow with the color fusers and a color challenge. 
and I've got a brand new online class coming out Friday using the first frost bundle, which is so, so pretty. Here we go, you guys. Isn't that just so gorgeous and fun? Here I use the designer paper on that flap. All right, I'm going to take, I'm going to do that poll where I ask you guys who wants me to um, switch back to 6 p.m. instead of 7 p.m. because that's important that I um, do what the majority would like to see there, okay? And um, Melanie says she wipes hers off with the chamois or the wet wipe. Um, I'm not sure I missed what you wipe off. But I, I always read through all these comments and try and answer any questions that you have. If you guys need to place any orders, don't forget to use the um, host code for the month of October. I just got a new one out. That's why this is not typed but written, handwritten. Um, when you place any orders in my online store, you'll find my store right here on my blog, right-hand column. Click on Order Online. And I always appreciate your orders. That's what keeps me being able to bring you all these free videos throughout the week and my Facebook Live on Sunday nights. I have to tell you, I quit my job back in February about two days after I started my very first Facebook Live. And I can tell you guys, it was the best decision I ever made. I have been working so hard to build up my online business. I've got a great local business going. I love all my local customers, but I also built up my online business and I've been working very hard at that. And I can tell you, quitting my job was the best thing I ever did. I love you guys. I appreciate um, you're watching my video, sharing my video, clicking on that like button, leaving comments. It's fantastic. I feel just very blessed to have all of you here with me. So thank you so much. Um, I don't know what I have in store for us next Sunday. I will be alive again on October 7th. I don't know if it'll be 6 p.m. or 7 p.m., but you watch my Facebook page because I will make an announcement about that um, to let you know. And I'm also going to do my drawing for my winner um, for using the host code all month in September. I have a drawing. They win a stamp set of their choice. So if you guys would like to put in orders, you will have the same opportunity to win that also. And don't forget, if you're interested in joining my team, I would love to have you, whether you're a business builder or a discount shopper. Um, I do have lots of both. I love my discount shoppers. I love my business builders. And I am here for them in any capacity that they need me. I'm here to help them build a business or here to answer their questions about shopping. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to say good night. I really appreciate it. You guys have yourself a wonderful week, and I'll see you back here on Sunday. Bye-bye.